one thing that coming to China has taught me is that you don't know a lot. <laughs> yeah. There's so much that you don't know. No matter how long you study the language, yeah. how long you learn of the culture, there's always going to be something that you don't yeah. know. And I am very fortunate that anytime I've made any mistakes, I think Chinese people have been very gracious always to tell me, oh, yeah. you know, that's not really cool or yeah. maybe don't think about this like yeah. that or maybe it's okay to think like that but you shouldn't say X, Y, and Z because it could be viewed yeah. as this. And I think that sometimes um, in America, maybe we can be a bit pugilistic yeah. about these things. I think it's I think it's um I think it also comes down to the fact of you know am I doing this to solve the problem or am I doing it to feel righteous? Mm. Because if you want if you're doing what you're doing to feel righteous, the most important thing is saying exactly what you believe. Mm. Um but if you're doing it to solve the problem, you kind of may have to, you know, take some Ls in the sense that like oh, I was really offended by that. Okay, I'm going to assume that yeah. you didn't say that with malice. Exactly. And I'm not act as if you didn't, mm -hmm. even though I don't think that's true. Yeah. But because I'd rather live in a world where, like, if I tell you this way, you may actually change your, the way you think. Exactly. But if I just fire back with what I think is right, even though that's, you know, it's, it's not like you want to hold back what you think is right. But if I just fire back then like we don't get anywhere. Exactly. And so a lot of the ways that I deal with the cultural challenges I think now and involving China is like this as well. There are a lot of people who say stuff that I feel angry with or whatever. Um, but like you gotta you gotta treat them almost as if they didn't come from a place of malice. Exactly. And, and weirdly enough you can almost drag them back to not being in a place of malice exactly. <laughs> if you do that. So well, let's get more in your on your content though, because we of um, I want to talk a little bit more specifics about sure. videos and stuff that you that you've done. No so um, what are some um, First of all, I have to ask before the end of the show, what was it like at Donghua Jinlong? <laughs> what was it like, you know, because you went to Donghua Jinlong, you saw the industrial food grade glycine. Oh my God. <laughs> um, you know, it, so, so tell real quick. Wonderful. What, what happened with Donghua was, Jinlong. So okay, for people right. who don't know, how would you explain, give me 30 seconds on Donghua Jinlong just for people that haven't seen the memes. Donghua Jinlong is a meme that was, it's basically an absurd meme that kind of got popular on TikTok and on Instagram because their marketing was very absurdist and it just got... It's a Chinese factory that, that, produces, that glycine. produces glycine, which what is glycine? It is it is a food additive that is put in a lot of different things. It is, a, it, it is something that humans can naturally get through their diet, but it's usually used as an additive to, you know, help Nutritional kind of supplement. Okay. Yeah. So they make glycine and there's a... There's a type of Chinese advertising that works well here, but just seems absurdist in the West, where they're just very forthright and and honestly telling you how good the product is. We've kind of moved past it. Wonder Bread, it tastes great. Yeah. Like, you can't do that anymore. But they're just like, let us show you our factory. Let us show you how we produce the best it's food great. grade glycine. <laughs> it's great. It's great glycine. I mean, and I was, I have to say, I was pounding that stuff before it got big. Um, but... You know, we, we put glycine in everything in my home. Um, but no, the, uh, but like, so, so you actually living in China though, you have this meme about this, this glycine factory and you're just like, I can actually go there thanks to the great public transport. I, um, yeah, <laughs> it was incredible. I just had this idea one day. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna go. I'm glad I saw that video because I was thinking of doing that and I was like, uh, and then you actually did it. I was like, oh, I'm not doing it now. Like somebody else It was went there. great. They treated me so well. They treated me so well. They, um, I, I went to I went all the way to the factory. I, I got on the Gautier. I took it to Shuja Duang, and then I got off to the cab. And I'm sure the cab driver was probably like, "Where's this yeah. guy going?" Yeah. And then I remember even when he dropped me off, he's like, "Here." I'm yeah, like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah." You know, let me come. Let yeah, me come. Yeah, you know? Let me come. Yeah. Like, I know I, what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. I got out, and then when I was I filming, his, when I was <laughs> when I was filming money. myself. Just as I was packing up and getting ready to leave, they walked out and they welcomed me and they were like, oh, come inside at the factory, we'll show you around. So did you have that set up or you really just went like without any clue whether you could contact them? I had no idea. That's I had no idea. Right. I literally what a, just, what a, my whole goal was actually just to go to the outside of the factory and, and that was all you were and then go and then leave. I didn't even I didn't even wind up booking a hotel that day because I didn't know if I was gonna That's stay in Shijadra. I, I hope yeah. it was like that, but there's so much fake on the internet now that it's like I'm gonna go here and no, do this, all this thing. This you is a really, real story. You really took the leap. And so did they know about the meme? 
they, oh, they are so into the meme. Yeah. They're so into the meme, guys. They're like, they're so into the meme. They, uh, I went there and then they just wound up coming out and then they greeted me and then they were talking about, they were talking about, oh yeah, like you're not the first person who came because of TikTok. Really? Yeah, I wasn't the first. They're Ooh. like, yeah, someone came from, actually, I think from Tsinghua. I think oh, yeah? someone from Tsinghua had gone the week prior or two weeks before I went. And they're you're like, like yeah. a glycine mecca now. So now it's a that's pilgrimage. That's great. That's yeah. great. So, so what was the what was the factory like? Did oh, you really when you looked at it? Do you say these are the people I want making my industrial oh, food oh, grade glycine? Like they take their glycine very seriously. <laughs> they don't they don't play games about their no. industrial food grade glycine. Yeah, no. they don't they don't play. And this, and this was one of the weird things that I kind of feel like one of the big things I think about a lot between the U.S. and China and how to fix the problems is trust. Mm. And in some ways part of the challenge of trusting anything in China is they're like, oh, they're trying to get theirs, we're trying to get ours. But like, there was something about the way that they're just like, we, we're really proud of our machines and we like make really good stuff and we committed. wish you would come. And, and like, I, I feel like a lot of people here are like that, they just don't go viral. Exactly. You know, the tea people are like that, they really care about the tea. They're they here drinking great tea every day, they care about the porcelain, they care about all this stuff. People are like, oh, am I going to get lead poisoning? Like, no, they drink it themselves. Yeah. They don't give their kids yeah. drink tea. They're not going to give their kid yeah. lead poisoning. But, like, it's easy to kind of forget that. Exactly. And so when you um, so when you uh, went there and, and interacted yeah. with them, like, what what did they think about the meme? Like, how, how what did they think was the reason why this went viral? Oh, they were actually, I think they were a bit confused, actually. Because <laughs> they really they, didn't know. They, 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 what they told me was that they outsource their marketing to a third party agency. Yeah. And the agency then took the <laughs> reins and created this creative and then posted it on social media platforms, namely TikTok and yeah. Instagram. And all of a sudden, they just got this surge of people who were interested in their company. And like, they didn't understand really why. <laughs> yeah. They were like, what? <laughs> why is this so popular? It's so funny with the way everybody's so like dead on advertising actually working that like when it worked, they were like, this like, worked? Why, yeah, yeah. Why, why did it work? Um, but they were really on it that they were like, we're gonna make, we're gonna make a, a merch store. We're making T-shirts. We're making hats. We're ma oh, I actually do have a video coming. I got a PR package from Dong Huan Jinlong. Oh, that's fun. So they're gonna, I'm gonna do an unboxing video sometime yeah. soon. Maybe we can even cut into that if we have the ability. Um, and maybe we're back. But, um, <laughs> but like, you know, so what did, you, what do you think? I mean, not to make too big of a point of it, but what can we learn about the Dong Huan Jinlong saga? and our ability to live on the same planet together. I think just be authentic. <laughs> yeah. Like just make content. Just 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 do things. Yeah. You know, I, I would say that in this my is, time, it's almost like Nike is instead yeah, of just, just do, do it, it, just do things. This is I think in No, my, this is true though. Everybody's yeah. like I hear a bajillion people that are like, Well, I got this great plan of how I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna make this and this and this and I have three different things running at the same time. I'm like you haven't done anything. Yeah. Make one thing, yeah, then make another. Yeah. And Maybe it goes yeah. somewhere, maybe it doesn't. But like, you I know. think that's the biggest thing I've learned from both my time in grad school and just living in China in general. Just be yourself, mm. and just if there's something that you want to do, just do it. Yeah, it's. I know it sounds so yeah. inane to make this, you know, to make this point. Just do it. You yeah. know, just just good stuff happens when you do stuff. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not like linear. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen. It definitely not no, linear. But it, but if you do stuff, good stuff might happen. If you don't do stuff, nothing really happens. <laughs>